The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty Gurman, uh, a.k.a. Scooter Fuck My Life. And alongside me, I have one uh, excellent stand-up comedian. He is the uh, funniest homosexual with the lowest possible voice. Please welcome Mr. JP. So good to be here today. Man, uh, there is a problem. <laughs> What's the problem? Yeah, there's a girl in the studio. <laughs> there's a girl in the what studio. What in the hell is going on? Oh, uh, fuck. This is this could be really, really good. Wait till your, really, wife, wait till really your wife finds out. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new guest in, uh, in on the episode today. Uh, it is my wife, Elena Gurman. It's my wife. <laughs> my wife. Oh, my God. Hello. Oh my god. This is scary. It could I be will, a lot of fun though. It will be a lot of fun. Yeah. Now everybody can see that I'm not an absolute piece of shit. And I do I did get married wow. to a beautiful woman. Yeah, we talk about her all the time. We do, and now And now they're gonna see yeah. her and be like, What the fuck is she thinking? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, welcome into another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make very inappropriate jokes, uh, except for when my wife's here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and current events that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend a lot of people with very thin skin. So if you are one of those people, uh, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and bye. And oh, sometimes maybe. I get my dick out. Should, yeah, should not I leave today. now? Yeah, nah, maybe. Uh, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> Are you offended easily? Kidding. Because yes, you I'm should. I'm married to Scotty. I don't That's think yeah, I could. She's I don't at this point. That offends me. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's it's kind of one of those weird situations. Okay, so we made the announcement. Uh, we did Monday Fun Day, and uh, yeah, so Steve was supposed to be here, mm -hmm. and uh, generally we have this kind of planned out a week in advance. And uh, all of us have lives, except for JP. Except for me, I'll be here anytime, <laughs> anytime. you're ready to go. Yeah. Uh, and and of course, uh, life happens, and so last minute, uh, Steve could not make it, and so uh, we called we called everybody. Uh, we called Derek. We People that called. I didn't even want to call. Like <laughs> there was two everybody. on my list that I was like, well, if I have to fucking do it with them, yeah, it's better than nobody, right? But. But uh, they all turned us down. They all did turn us down, uh, which is totally fine. Every last one of them. Go fuck yourselves, boys. Right. Uh, and girls. Yep. Because I even called the girl. Oh, did which you? Which is for me. That's pretty crazy. And she's a lesbian. Yeah. Like I was pulling out all the stops, man. I, I hear you. Uh, but it all came down to everybody had stuff going on. Of course, last minute. I mean, you don't expect yeah, everybody to be no, available. So. Definitely not. But somebody. But somebody. Uh, who is normally uh, taking care of dogs upstairs all by her, all by herself. Here she is, is ladies here. and gentlemen, so, ladies in the gentlemen, flesh. That's right. My wife actually does exist, and uh, this is... You're uh, going to tell everybody her name? I did say it, Elena. It. Oh, I didn't uh, hear Elena. you say it. I, I just name. thought you were just going to call her my wife the yeah, whole time. My wife. I, like, well, that's I might. Nice. Uh, but I think it'll be pretty cool. Um, she's she's had podcasting experience, so uh, I did have a little. Experience. Yeah, yeah. So so this will be it'll be fun. And Do you guys uh, ever come down here? No, no, no. Okay, no. <laughs> this is but, ours. No, but when we when he first got the setup with for his other podcast, we would go down there, and we would. I remember we would like put headphones on and mm -hmm. kind of chat, role play so. and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, testing none of that. Out the uh, testing the equipment. <laughs> yeah. I do love to test the equipment from time to time. You have to, otherwise, what if your equipment will stop working and you won't know? Yeah, and then that gets awkward. Uh, yeah, sure. but uh, it, it's it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, because now we we get to we get to see she gets to see how the show does. Because I guarantee you, she's never seen a full episode. Oh, she's yeah. seen me edit. 
in all hours of the night. I yeah. hear the same clip like yeah a hundred times. Would right. you rather give up cheese or blowjobs? Yeah, that's the one. I think I've watched maybe one. Uh, maybe whole a couple. Episode yeah, of the true. Five years so, you've been doing it. Yeah, that's the Man, other thing. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> I shouldn't be. Uh, but, but I am. But that's kind of cool. I, I think it's really cool because, and I guess I'm going into like the week week recap, but yeah. uh, um, we she, she's basically been behind the scenes. My wife is over here every single time the comedians come in and we basically shoot the shit for about 30 minutes. And my wife is always down there talking to everybody that comes in. And so it's kind of a, it's kind of a thing that now the listeners get to experience and, and come a part of it because and that's happens. what we're all about folks. Listener <laughs> experience, <laughs> Listener experience. We care about you. <laughs> God, that's sarcastic. <laughs> uh, but, but no, it, it, it's, it's actually kind of fun, but anyways, welcome in to my wife. Um, but we do have a great show for you guys today. We do have some headlines that we may or may not skip over a majority of. Uh, we've got Never Have I Ever, That's Where I Draw the Line, Questions in Preguntas, and as always, a good draft in a shitty situation to round this show up. Uh, but we like to kick it off with our week, week recap. And uh, I think we're going to start with JP this mm. week. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think because I know for a fact you, you've had a pretty decent week, dog. I did. You did. You're driving around a rental car right now. Yeah, I'm driving around a rent rental car because yeah. mine's in the shop. Again. Yeah, it is. But almost all of it's covered. Uh, almost all so of it's going to get fixed. Gr- yeah. that's almost all of it's yeah. going to get fixed. The rest of it is either going to fuck the car completely <laughs> or, you know, I don't know. I you don't know. know. I wouldn't let that happen. You know that. No, it, it'll get fixed eventually. But, man, I did not, other than that, do a whole lot. Really? I uh, went over to a buddy's house. They were given his car, a, a friend of mine was given another friend's car a tune-up. Oh, yeah. Those uh, are fun. It's an 86 Honda something. Uh, it still sounds like it's easy to work Dude, on. Dude, it was original like oh, the really? spark plugs, the spark plug, dude. I'm not even fucking kidding you, man. It was the craziest shit I've ever seen. Like, yeah. and they were all trash. I mean, oh, sure. after that long, so he got spark plugs, but he didn't get wires. Oh yeah, because he didn't think he would need them. <laughs> and then the distributor cap that they sent was the wrong one for oh, yeah. sure. Uh, he starts draining. He's changing the fuel, <laughs> the fuel filter. Uh huh. It's in line. And, oh yeah, and, I know that. So he uh, he's like, hey, uh, if I take this off here, I'm going to leak gas. And my other buddy's like, no, it's not pressurized. It might dribble a little, but it'll be fine. Dude, all the gas. Oh, yeah. Not a little bit. All of the gas starts shooting out, dude. Mm-hmm. He's fucking yelling for a bucket. Try- dude, it was awesome. Oh, yeah. I don't work on cars because I'm a gay. We do nails and hair. <laughs> and uh, so, you know. Yeah. But to watch two, two other people do it was awesome. Oh, yeah. That it's monkeys cool. fucking yeah. a football. And then I went and watched football yeah. at my mother's house, and mm-hmm. she made a bunch of food, and it was awesome. Yeah. But, uh, it's about all I did other than work. I worked a lot last how'd you, week. How'd you bowl? I bowled. Pretty good. Yeah? Pretty good. Shot 279 again. Hey. Back to back, actually. Nice. And then 190. That pumps up. To, oh, that so brings that's, the average down. <laughs> that hurt. But other than that, man, it was a great fucking great week. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I guess uh, my wife, you introduce yourself. I I mean, you, you and I have had the same weeks the last couple of weeks. We got back from Disney. I pretty much talked about Disney for the most part, but yeah, you know what's going on in uh, what's going on in the life of you. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you guys thought I was bad. <laughs> Not much, and you should just leave it there. <laughs> no, it, it's it's kind of weird because it's all it's all the same. It's the same week, yeah, uh, especially right. yeah, this I last did, weekend. I did actually have a lot of. I went up to Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh yeah, you. yeah, with me. And there's that whole crew, like your mom and oh yeah, dad uh, have friends up there. And I actually had a lot of fun watching you and the Kansas City Chiefs fan. Oh, he yeah. he was such a good sport. He was not being yeah. Like Tim super, Tim's good dude. Yeah, I actually had a lot of fun there. Oh, so. I did too. Sometimes I'm kind of bored when I go up there with you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's got. 
I, just, I feel like I, I'm the counselor. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, yeah. Elena? It's good that you do things with Scotty. Yeah, exactly. And That's I know that I sometimes go. it's not the most fun, but it's good you guys do things together. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, he's just watching football and like right. sometimes no, I'm I get not it. Super he's boring as it. fuck. I <laughs> once a week almost I come over here and have to deal with him. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. You're Thanks, welcome. both of you. Yeah. 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 Right. Just so it's cherry not, on top. It's not you. It's the. <laughs> yes, it's it's the not ball. you. It's them. <laughs> it's not you. It's me. Wow. Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. So I knew I it was coming. Better, I had a good time. Then. Yeah. Uh, no, but no, we go, we go up to Buffalo Wild Wings every week and when there's a, there's a group of guys yeah, that awesome. we've always, and it's, and it's kind of like the cheers crew. They all have their own personalities. There's a super fucking old guy that's, that's there and he's a hoot. And then, uh, obviously we live in the Wichita area, so it's, they're almost everybody is Kansas City Chiefs fans. Yeah. So mostly that's Chiefs a shame. There. Yeah. That was, that was a lot of fun. There was um, a 49ers fan there. Though. There was, and he was kind of a and, dick. No, there was another, there was a Lions fan that kept Oh yeah. Yeah. He came in, I, I was getting hugs from strangers and, and stuff. It was oh, good. I'd love that. Uh-huh. Uh, I'd wear a Lions jersey to do that. Again. <laughs> <laughs> if that's all I got to do is go to a Buffalo Wild Wings and wear a Lions jersey. Yeah. Can, can I borrow your Lions jersey? No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I gotta wash it, uh, but no. Uh, we're also getting prepped for our uh, our trip that we're gonna take at the end of this month. Yeah, uh, so yeah, we're gonna go skiing. Everybody likes hearing me talk about my snowboards. Yes, sir. My, my fancy snowboards. Not it's nice up. to see that your snowboard's gonna get some snow. It is gonna get That's some good. snow. That's good. I like that. No, it's uh, it is currently being money tuned. well spent. It is. It's being it's tuned. Tuned, well, yeah. like waxed. Waxed and oh yeah, it's oh gonna be in oh, pristine you think, don't condition. Don't you do that to your own board? I mean, you don't can. Don't be having some stranger wax your board. Know. You can do it on do your you own. Do you know how to do that? I do know how to do it. I just don't want to take the time to do it, hmm, and I would much weird. rather pay. You don't love it that much. Pay a professional to do it. We live in Kansas. Yeah, what are we supposed to do? Wax it yourself. No, yeah, no, no. I mean, just yeah. Have I, you pull me behind a truck? You drive my truck. I'll do it. I know you would. I know. We just got to get another to good it. snow. You would oh, have fun. I would just have to find a tree. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No <laughs> shit. Um. Excuse me. So we did that, but we've also been watching a new uh, show that, excuse me, I've been, uh, I mean, I always like the Alaska kind of shows and stuff like that. That's like my favorite thing. Um, but she's yeah. actually been kind of paying attention to it. And so mm -hmm. we've been watching, uh, it's a show called Port Protection. It's on Disney Plus, but it's technically, it's, uh, what's the, not Discovery, but the other one, National yep. Geographic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He loved the National Geographic. Fuck yeah, I do. And, uh, it's a fucking awesome show. That's really good. I looked up more details about this like community because it's just about this community where you think that it probably has a population of like 150 people. Nope, 11. 11 oh, wow. fucking oh, people. Yeah, I didn't watching the show, but you know, we've been really watching it. Oh and yeah. I, I figured there was like probably Yeah, like I thought 20. They, yeah, I, I thought, would have guessed like 25 I know. Maybe. Nope, 11 fucking people in a little town in Alaska. It's and fun. it's like the lower portion of Alaska too, so it's like Canada. It's it's down low, so it's not too bad. So I'm trying to talk around eleven right people. 11. That's where you hope you don't have a town rapist. Yeah, <laughs> because if there's one, you're all getting raped. That's like true. you can't just rape three people <laughs> if you're the town rapist, and there's only eleven in the town. You got to do the whole thing. Yeah. Otherwise, what's to brag about? Yeah, yeah I fucking raped a whole town once. <laughs> Nobody or, knows there's eleven and people they, there, and they have bear. Oh, Bear yeah. and wolves. Oh yeah, oh, sure. yeah. yeah, absolutely. But uh, so we've interesting, been, man. We've been doing that. Uh, I've also been. I don't know, like watching a whole bunch of like fight videos on my Twitter. That's happened because all of the Detroit Lions stuff is now gone. I, yeah. I I have turned it the fuck off. So, uh, but yeah, I'm getting all of these like random people like, and it has the caption that you don't really know is true, but it was like uh, I saw a chick beat the shit out of a dude. And uh, it said uh, she caught him sucking her boyfriend's dick and immediately thought of you. Lucky guy. <laughs> she kicked the shit out of him. Well, it's not his fault. What? That he that can't That her boyfriend's fight? a fag. Oh, uh, true. <laughs> yeah. Well, he just let him suck his dick. Right. Yeah. Well, that's true. And let me tell you guys out there, <laughs> it's not gay if you let a gay suck your dick. It's only gay if you reciprocate. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, but anyways, uh, I've had that, and then uh, did you get a chance to watch uh, the Kevin James stand up on Amazon? I so here's the thing, man. I don't like watching other comedians. Yeah, that's weird. You Espe don't ever watch stand up. I do, but it's rare, and it's only a very few 
yeah. people. Yeah, I hate the dogs. And Ken, <laughs> and Ken, I was like, holy moly. I thought if she's down here. Yeah. Who's up there? Uh, yeah, man. The Kevin James is not one of the. The ones? No. I'm going to. If yeah. you have. I'm sure it's great. If, I think he's a good. I like him. Uh, if you have not seen this this new one that has come out on Prime, uh, don't waste your time. Oh well, well there we you go. Finish it, I so I turned it, it off. Gotten better. I, I, it, it's just, and I think Scotty's used to not finishing. You should know that. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, but no, I, I was not impressed. And the huh. other thing is, is like I know well, I know his act is alert. Always, the press, is yeah. Scotty German's not impressed. Uh, but no, I mean, he, oh god, I hope Kevin James doesn't see this, right? Uh, <laughs> but but and, and I know that he does his act clean. And I yeah. think that hanging around I with you guys, I, no, I could never do it, man. One time I went and I didn't know. I, I'm just on a show. I'm doing a guy a favor. I, I'm filling a spot. And uh, he's like, by the way, this is a clean show. And I just looked at him. I go, dude, how long have we known each other? Like, <laughs> do you even think that's possible for me? But I did it, man. 15 minutes. Never cussed. Really? Never brought up my orientation. Just did just real generic Oh. So it was the most. It Did was awful. Laugh? Oh, they. Yeah, yeah. of well, course. It was JP. still me. Yeah. Why? I mean. It, yeah. I mean. I don't know what you know about me, but I'm pretty goddamn special. <laughs> uh, but Needs yeah. an helmet. Uh, That's yeah. Good. So it it went well, but man, that was so scary. That's a big challenge for you. <laughs> yeah. I just imagine the whole audience was like. 14 year olds oh yeah that's probably yeah. the best way to do yeah. it let the let the, i was like <laughs> a bunch yeah. of dad jokes yeah. right yeah. just stupid shit like yeah, that, the, that, yeah. That let the 14 year old year olds boys would laugh at and let and the gay guy go up there and I did. make well, I, them not feel uncomfortable him, yeah i didn't tell him i was gay well, that's good i didn't even get into all that that's because right did you bring your you van do, no with free candy no <laughs> no you didn't no Aww. i brought a bus there were a lot of them oh wow I brought the old Epstein Express. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, but other than that, man, it's that's uh, that's really been, I think, everything that we've been doing. Obviously, we watched uh, football over the last yeah. weekend, so yeah. and that uh, was uh, yeah. that was. A I started watching a new game show. Oh, what'd you watch? Uh, with Rob Lowe is the host. It's called The Floor. Yeah, yeah I want to watch. It's that. fantastic. It looks really good. Oh, it's so good. Really, really, what's really that? good. How do you watch it? What's it on? Uh, I watch it on Hulu. Okay, we have. I don't know what network it's on. (laughs) Yeah, it doesn't matter. But uh, it's it's fantastic. It's really good. I like Rob Lowe. Yeah, but I don't. I can't get. I mean, game shows to me anymore. I don't. You like some game shows? Family Feud, maybe. Oh, you might like. I love Steve Harvey. Fuck you. You love Steve. What is wrong with you? Love Steve. That dude is a fucking douche. I love that guy. I'm probably gonna get killed. Yeah, probably. Once he sees this. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, dude, that dude is the worst. I love him. We got a good one for you today. Hey, I fucking every love him. fucking episode over and over. So, oh, he's the worst. He dude. kind of, uh, he no. kind of is the worst. No, but anyway, that's okay. He kind of, you know he kind of reminds me of somebody who I really like, and so it just kind of, he just kind of gets the the rub off on that. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, that's. I'm that. surprised to hear you say you like a black person. To Thanks. be honest with you, yeah, just so happened, best friend's black. Oh that, that's God. what you keep saying, but I've never met him. <laughs> you should. We should have him on next. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you should have texted him. I could have, and he may have been here. Uh, but anyways, uh, anybody else have anything else fun that they had go on with them? Nope. Okay, cool, because this is going to be a run-through. We're going to go through the headlines for this week. Uh, something that is not on there that I forgot to put on there. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw this, but did you guys see that they uh, stole the Jackie Robinson statue? Oh, yeah. They found it. But oh, who really? had it? They found it. Uh, so it was stolen from McAdams Park. For, okay, first of all, this is actually it made national news, but this happened in Wichita at the baseball diamonds that I played on all through college and high school. Yeah, so that's where this yeah. is. It, right at right there at McAdams Park, they sawed his, his feet off. They saw his feet. <laughs> Cut off. him off at the fucking ankles. Yeah, they found it dismembered and burned in a different park what? this afternoon. What? This afternoon. No fucking Swear way. To this God, after dude. today? Wow. Just found it today. That's fucking, that uh, sucks. I just read it. Bob Lutz put out a, a I'll deal. I'll have to look that up. That's and, uh, terrible. So fucked up. I hope, I hope whoever Dude, it was, I hope they catch him. I hope they I catch hope that, I mean, no punishment is, dude, if, I mean, it's really? Yeah. This day and age, that's 
fucking ridiculous. Not only that, dude. it's it's not like it's it's a controversial thing. Jackie Robinson was one of the best baseball players of all time, really. So dude, it's and they like, went through a lot to get that thing put up. I know. Yeah. I know. And it, so yeah. it's it's Crazy, super fucker. Man. I was hoping they would find it someplace in somebody's house because not that so I thought someone took it to yeah. like have right. on their nope. own personal and I, collection. Nope. Turns out they were something. trying to send a message. Oh my wow. god. And and that's the other thing is I was like, ah, for sure it's kids. That's what I initially oh, thought. Oh no, they, they there was video, it. it was adults, it was two adults. Oh my uh, god. They just hacked him off and Wow, that's really shitty. Yeah. So, I mean, apparently, okay. updates to the story. Uh, some fuckers need to get uh, dealt yeah, with, that's... caught. Yeah. Um. Uh. So there was that. Uh. Also. Uh. I don't know if you guys saw the video. Did you guys see the video of the news reporter in the dark? She was like doing a new news story at night, and all of a sudden, a fucking mountain lion just walks right out in front of her, and she thought it was a dog. Did she no. try and pet it? Uh, no, she was just like, oh, look at the doggy. And then this mountain lion just kind of just walks by. It's like that wow. That doggy would fuck, fuck you up. up. Yeah. His his bite is much worse than his bark. No shit. Yeah. But it, it does. It just like casually oh, walks nice. by and then like walks off into tall grass. Dude, and, and it's just like. What would have been, uh, been really cool is if it would have got like right to the camera and went, fuck her in the pussy. And then. Yeah. <laughs> No, I was kind of hoping. Wow. For, I was kind of hoping the mountain lion kind of just uh, gets pissed off randomly yeah, and just goes. Like, yeah. That's how we get videos like that. That is exactly how yeah. it is. Uh, but uh, no, no, she got out unscathed. At least, uh, at least the video cut off uh, before that. Mm. Um, I, I did want to give a shout out to a good friend of the show. Uh, she uh, turned fifty years old. <laughs> a good friend, good friend of, the, of the, show. the show, Tiffany uh, Amber Thiesen. Tiffany Amber Thiessen turns good, fifty. Yeah. She watches. Yeah. She's ad, an avid watcher of the show. Yeah, she Definitely. is. I really don't think that's true. No, that's true. I, I, she messages me every yeah. once in a she while. She gives us questions and preguntas. She does. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, I don't know about you guys, but uh, seeing pictures of her at 50. <sighs> holy fuck. That's when, what happens when you have money. I don't care. That's what matters when you have good genes. It's money. And genes. It's probably both. It's, it's money. It's probably both. I mean, she was always really pretty. Oh, so yeah. that's, that's true. probably just her genes. Yeah. And then, and then, you know. Yeah, hundred, hundreds of millions of dollars on top of it. What else did she do? Saved by the... Uh, I guess she did do a, a couple of other movies. She was, she was a, a really, white collar. Yeah, she was it was a, a great show. Oh, that show. is a great show. It was show. so good. It got old after a while. Well, yeah. I know, same but shit. Like, same but shit. It was so yeah. good. But all shows, I feel, are... Yeah. Well, they all do that. I did not know yeah. this, but uh, do you know who else turned 50 years old on the exact same day? Zach Morris. No, uh, no. I would Mr. Belding. No. He was way older. Uh, Andy from The Office. I uh, can't remember his oh, name. Really? Ed, Helms. Ed Helms. Ed Helms oh, also. So they're, they're the same age. Oh, wow. One is definitely more attractive than the other. But I, mean, yeah. I love Ed Helms. I do, too. I, yeah. I love Ed Helms, uh, but yeah. I, I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, they are coming out with a new movie that they're really promoting pretty hardcore uh, on the socials, which is uh, the Roadhouse remake. Because we just can't think up a new good idea for a fucking movie. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Hollywood. Although Jake Gyllenhaal's in it, so I'll obviously watch it. Of so. course you will. <laughs> but the cool, I mean, they got Conor McGregor playing the bad guy in it, which yeah, I think is going to be pretty cool because he just is a big act all in itself. Dude, yeah. he's, a, he's a cool he's dude. Every, yeah, he's very entertaining. <laughs> but I think that that's 90% of what he does is when he's talking shit, he's just acting. And so I think he's going to be great yeah. for this part. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if I'm going to go and see it. I, I may I'll watch it at home. I, yeah, I will too, but I just I, I'm not excited. Yeah, I would it. not pay to go see it. Yeah, that's okay. Hollywood, just make up, just write new movies. That's all you got to do. It, it, we'll it's go. It's not that hard. It's not. It's just that they keep on, they're, they've ran out of shit to do for like uh 10 years and so they now know they don't have any original ideas and they just keep on remaking shit well, it's how many fucking batmans do we have at this point that's what i'm talking about that there's oh, too goddamn many so i mean there was a original idea but you didn't like it you didn't uh, even watch it which one the barbie movie oh fuck that it was an original idea you know her voice what uh have you ever seen that skit on saturday night live with uh 
Betty White and the no. the podcast where they call in and they're lesbians and they talk about dusty muffins. Oh no, I have um, not. That, it, her voice it's reminds me of like that. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, dusty muffins. muffin talk okay. with yeah. yeah. I all love right. it. I love it. It's so relaxing and soothing. Uh, before <laughs> we get onto the football, I did stumble across a uh, a headline that I figured JP would be very interested in, but a uh, California woman who stabbed her boyfriend one hundred and eight times. A hundred and eight. Uh, back in That's two, a lot. Yeah, back in 2018 was sentenced to probation and community service. And that, gentlemen, is why <laughs> you don't fuck with girls. <laughs> well, True. Uh, but here's the thing. The reason why she was not given a harsher sentence for like, I don't know, you know, 25 to life for like first degree murder is because they had an expert come in uh, at the trial and he testified that she was suffering from a cannabis induced psychosis. Let that be a warning to you, son of a bitches. <laughs> I will fucking stab you. <laughs> I feel like that's more of a reason to, you know, go to prison. Right. I, I, and here's the or thing. Or like a mental hospital. I don't know. Definitely a mental right? hospital. Here's Definitely. the thing. Yeah. I get high all the time. I know. I'm high right now. I know. I don't feel like stabbing anyone. That's good. That has nothing to do with it. Right. That's that bitch point. was crazy. Yes. Just like is. There's no oh, was still. still. Yeah. But and I, she got probation. Probation and, and like, community yeah, service. It'll be all right. Yeah. Oh, and he, he, the guy died. It's just yeah, a stab. Why did she stab him? But you know, I mean, that's <clears throat> motive and is why. There's got to. He had to have oh, yeah. beaten her or something. Maybe I don't know. To just get off like that, she. Yeah. He deserved it. But Piece he, of shit. But even <laughs> poor guy. Uh, but even, I hope he hears this. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, but even that one, uh, that one chick got like seven years for second degree murder, and she didn't even kill her mom. And she's now out. Rose Gypsy Rose. Gypsy Rose. Oh, mm -hmm. I, she got out of prison. I haven't followed anyone. Yeah, and so she just told a, her boyfriend at the time to kill her mom, which uh, pro she probably fucking deserved it. Um, I mean, do you think so, Elena? She probably did. I mean, I I don't know like all the details, but yeah, it's pretty fucked I'm up, real messed up. But but she had like yeah. seven years. The guy that actually committed the murder is doing life in prison, I think, or something like that. And yeah, she's just she just got out. But this bitch stabs her boyfriend 108 times, gets some probation, and just gets really fucking high, and somehow. Ugh, it's like pleading insanity. It's just that yeah, well, you know. It's like what do well, you do? Just as, you know. And like, do they not know anything about weed? I guess not. It says an expert. I don't do know if it was maybe into psychosis. Yeah, I don't know if Joe. I don't Rogan, think that's a thing. I feel like that maybe is from a different drug. Right. There was something in her marijuana. <laughs> I assure <laughs> and you, that's not her fault. But she still did the. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, people. If you. She's drink already and drive. Crazy, right. You go to jail for a DUI. More, if you killed someone, if you're you were crazy drive, already, you, and then you smoke weed, maybe it makes maybe you crazier. It, I don't know. It I says know. right there, cannabis induced. So that's weed. That's not I you know. know. So I fucking know bat what shit kind of crazy. He is. I don't either. But uh, but yeah, that happened. So all of you out there, don't let your uh, your uh, spouses smoke a shit little pot. Yeah, and if you if you Watch if they out. are gonna smoke a bunch of pot, hide the knives. Hide the knives, <laughs> and maybe the forks. <laughs> uh, but shit. But yeah, now we got to get to the unfortunate part of the episode. Is an alarm going off on your phone? No, no. I keep hearing an alarm. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's the dogs. Uh oh. I don't uh -oh. think uh -oh. the have dogs. You been, are have you been smoking <laughs> weed? I really keep hearing. Oh, <laughs> pulls a knife out. <laughs> She's got a pin. <laughs> Anyways, I'm like, our phones are here. I can't see JP's. Um, so we had the unfortunate events of, uh, of the, uh, NFC and AFC championship games. Uh, both of them sucked. I said what I wanted to happen. And I even said the, like the, I would even take the lions losing as long as the chiefs did not win. And that is the exact opposite of what happened. So yippee. I saw, I know you're not happy, man. I'm not, but I saw the greatest meme. What? And it said the uh, the lion's new mascot, and it was the cowardly lion. <laughs> I, mean, I'm, I mean, it sucked. It really sucked. Uh, and the best part was, uh, and we'll go ahead and go on to that game, and I, I hate this, but everybody that knows that I'm a Lions fan uh, that is not a douchebag texts me at halftime, and they all said the same text. How about them fucking lions, man? Oh, yeah. I, I sent, I sent and I'm like, a couple. I'm you like, sent one? yeah, I a couple. I, to Scotty, uh, yeah, it's me oh. at halftime. At halftime, 
and I got tons of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, f to those of you that sent those, fuck you, you jinxed it. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking jinxed it. But, dude, I've done that the last two games. That's true. Uh, you didn't then. Everybody else did. Everybody yeah. else. But yeah. uh, right. fuck you guys. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you bastards. And everybody's giving shit to Dan Campbell about going for it because uh, it came down to as a it was a fourth. I mean, where they had they he wanted to get a touchdown and win the game. And I get it, but here's the thing: I don't understand with that, and I not questioning anything because he did exactly he did exactly what he'd been doing all year. Yeah, he didn't exactly. he didn't do anything different, which is fine. But was it fourth and three? Yeah. Fourth and goal from the three, mm -hmm. right before half, you're going to kick the field goal, but then you're not going to kick the field goal. If you're going to kick the field goal then, I think you have to stick with, with the fucking plan and kick the field goal the second time. And I don't understand. If you're going to go for one or the other, you should have went for it right before halftime. I'm shocked they didn't do that. I. Uh, but if you're going to be that concerned, if you're going to be that guy, yeah, then you got to fucking follow through and be that guy, and you end up going into overtime possibly, and who knows what happens. So, and I get that side, and I understand people that that are not Lions fans and and um, criticize him for that. Here's the thing: if it's the uh, if the other thing happens, he's not a dumbass. He's a genius, right? If he if he if they score and they win that game. He is, I mean, he's already a hero in Detroit, but, oh, for sure. But, but I mean, this is, this is who he is. This is what he yeah, does. It's also not different from what he's done the whole exactly. fucking season. Exactly. So I get it. And I the, get it. And I kind of support that. I, 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 I've had people at work, uh, come up to me and be like, God, I just want to, you want to, got to fire Dan Campbell. They would have like, never made it. You have no idea. They would have never made it Absolutely. to where they made it if he hadn't done that stuff throughout exactly. the year. Exactly. There's plenty of instances where they Correct. went for it and got it and ended up winning a game. The dude carries a around his balls and a wheelbarrow i mean oh, i mean just huge that's too big for me dude I, that's i, know, well, I, I mean thought it's I'd say not that. your type uh no. but the other thing is is i completely agree with him if it were up to me if i had if i had the ability to have my destiny in my hands go for it on fourth and goal or whatever it was and and if i lose then i lost if you give the ball back to him we go into overtime then they get the ball and they score right out of the gate F no, it fuck. was like fourth and seven or something. Whatever right? it the was, second time. Yeah, the first time I can't believe they didn't go for it. But it's just, it's just, I like having the game in my control as opposed to letting somebody else do it. So that is, that's my argument. I understand the other side. Believe me, I understand people saying if you kick the field goal, you go into overtime. But you're on the road of a team that's momentum has definitely shifted. Fuck, they. I mean, they scored how many points in the fucking second half? All of them. Exactly. So it's like, it's like what. Are you do do you take that risk no you, all of the you points fucking go for it and so it, it sucks it was an excellent year for the detroit lions excellent year very true absolutely amazing and everybody for the most part is coming back so we'll have another opportunity we'll see what happens but i've got a lot of confidence in them and i'm i'm proud of what they did this season don't hang your heads uh but uh to the motherfucking baltimore ravens I have a bone to pick with you pieces of shit. Um, I said that I have no problem, no problem whatsoever. If the Detroit Lions lose and the Baltimore Ravens uh, win, as long as that happens. Uh, but no, uh, the Baltimore Ravens defense did not show up. And the good old uh, Kansas City Chiefs ended up uh, pulling out a win and didn't score anything in the second half, if I remember correctly. They're going to win the whole thing. I, I I know for sure they are. Are you watching? Are you watching the Super Bowl? No, no I'm not either. Mike, I, you're not going to. No. Why? But Fred and I wanted to make those bingo cards and watch you. Uh, I don't want to. I don't. Okay. I don't. We should make the bingo cards and watch Fred's fiance. Okay, we She's could do a that. Chiefs She's fan. a Chiefs fan, so that'll be that'll so be that fine. That could be fun. But what pissed me off the most? <laughs> Have it, you seen those? The bingo cards. No. The people are like making bingo cards for like mostly it's the girls and their boyfriends or whatever. And it it's sounds like this is a Taylor them. Swift influence thing. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. It could be, but they're watching them and they're, they're like scratching what? off the stuff. The husband's doing. Yeah. Okay. I got so you. So like, I got you cussing at the TV right, or like right. putting their hands on their, you know, 
and their market and then you make your own bingo card that sounds fun yeah yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what i thought that's how the women pay attention to the are you yeah. being sarcastic i am, I am. I am. I very <laughs> much it, am. it sounds like fun to me oh boy <laughs> but yeah i i would get your glasses of wine and just <laughs> yeah. watch the boys <laughs> hey you know what if that because we're it. like together hanging yeah, out having and, right. fun, and right? most and of that's the time everybody has a super bowl party every single yeah. year right oh, yeah. and and that means that the guys that want to go and watch the game and bring their wives who don't give a fuck about what's going on and so what ends up happening is they're just sitting there fucking chatting through the <laughs> game get so mad i do yeah. it irritates the yeah. fuck well, out of me see, look we wouldn't be talking so much if we're paying more attention to I you know. and what you're doing and, I, and that's why i'm so like you okay. should promote the bingo card yeah go go get bingo cards is it made. bingo or i don't know but uh yeah yeah, yeah it's bingo a shuffleboard or <laughs> <laughs> macrame but uh but yeah so we got to see the celebration of uh of patrick mahomes fourth afc championship in the last six years fuck you that's pretty impressive man god i, I hey whether you like him or not that's impressive you know what that's the thing is as i kind of had to make a breakdown in my head and i had to go okay why do you hate the kansas city Chiefs so much do you hate patrick mahomes no i just hate his wife and his brother but as him, he's fine. Do you hate Travis Kelsey? No, I actually really like Travis Kelsey. Well, why do you hate the Chiefs? It's because their fucking fans are annoying as shit and they're everywhere in Kansas. Because you're in Kansas. Exactly. And they're annoying as fuck. I mean, I'm watching the... I mean, granted, the one Kansas City fan I was sitting next to at the bar was really nice. He's a good friend of mine and has been for a long time. But do you want to know how many people sent me text messages after the Lions yeah. lost that are Chiefs fans? Fuck you guys. You it's get just, that with a lot of different sports. That's not how you are. You don't. I like, don't do that. You don't call that. Well, have you done that before? <laughs> uh oh. Uh, I don't well, know. Maybe. Uh, I feel like that's all one team. sports fans. One team and one team only. Oh, I will do Texas. that. Texas. No. Oh. No. They uh, do kind of. Kansas University. That's the one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they deserve it. Those they, are, yeah, they deserve they it. They deserve it. <laughs> uh, whenever that happens to them. But, but see, no. all sports people will do that. Yeah. It's like a thing people yeah. do. Yeah. But like, why do you gotta hate on the lions, man? The lions. Yeah, what the lions what do? What the lions to you? do to you? I mean, it, it, nothing. But anyways, uh, but that is the headlines for this week. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, we get to go to the Pro Bowl. We get to watch the Pro Bowl. You excited for that, JP? What? That's the point. <laughs> what is the Pro Bowl? <laughs> it's it's flag it's, football it's now. Stupid. And yeah. It's dumb. It's the dumbest shit that they do. It's uh, a money grab. It, 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 well, I don't even know if it's all that it's just like it's the all-star game for football but you don't want any players to get hurt so they can't tackle oh. uh i i did or i did like it whenever they had like the skills competition and stuff they're like doing that. all that again too. okay that i may watch did you see the one where they're fucking fucking ziplining no. down vegas oh in really vegas, and they were trying to throw passes while they were ziplining that's kind of cool no i would do it that stupid okay well i haven't seen it, it so maybe fun. it sounds fun but yeah i'm out uh, but anyways, now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. And uh, thank you guys all for participating in Monday Fun Day. Uh, we send that out every Monday. And uh, it, all of your comments, I go through every single one of them. And if, if I find some that I like, uh, we'll put it on the show and give you a shout out. So uh, we're going to kick this off with Never Have I Ever. The first one comes in from Matt Shartner. Uh, somebody please comment on the name. <laughs> really? Nothing from you? I nothing, want to, man. Nothing. The coffee drinking boyfriend, and you've got nothing over there, Mister Shartner. Uh, is that really his name, dude? That's what do you think he's making it up? I mean, unless you pronounce it Skartner, but no, I don't it's think Shartner. So. No, it's Shartner. <laughs> That's what it says. But Matt, I, I do love your last name. It's unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> shit. Lemony Snicket. <laughs> but he wants to know. Wow. Never have I ever sent a flirty message to the wrong person. Do you think his nickname is Stinky? <laughs> no. No. Okay. No. It is now. No. It is extra pair of underwear. It is never sent a flirty message. To, I have. You sent it to the wrong person? Oh, yeah. Mom? Mm-mm. Uh-oh. Mm-mm. Straight dude. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Oh. No. Yeah, yeah, and and it was a it was actually was it a dick pic? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. oh no! Yep, and uh, he was not happy about it. Oh, he, he was not, it? He didn't care for it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did he think you were actually hitting on him? 
no, oh. but he was like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> he was like, I was like, I told you it was big. And uh, then I didn't say anything else. Oh, God. But yeah, I mean, eventually we talked about it. Or he's like, what the fuck? I was like, I'm so sorry. You know, we were talking all day. And wrong was, Jeff. Yeah, I mean, it was just, it was wrong, wrong Caleb. Oh, at wrong the, Caleb. Yeah, yeah, oh, that yeah. sucks. Um, I was hoping he'd send one back, but he didn't. Uh, I honestly never have. Mm. I, I've never, uh, I think maybe I sent a dick pic one time in my oh, yeah. entire life. Yeah, back before you. And, uh, but man, it was on one of those really old shitty smartphones oh. that the screen was that big, so it looked really big at the oh, time. That's always good. That's nice. It was zoomed yeah. in. It was zoomed in. You could see the veins. Yeah. Uh, but no, I, I have not sent it to the wrong person. Thank God. I have done. You it. have a fear of that. I, yeah, I've never done that before. Yeah. <laughs> no, just uh, just fish. me then. No, okay. well, yeah, just just I you. I do send out. I in my that. defense, I send out a lot of dick pics, oh so God. it's bound to happen sooner or later. Just the odds are that eventually, so, eventually you're gonna mess oh up. Eventually, God. it's so. gonna happen. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. What? That's why you don't do it. That, yeah, no. that's that's whole her whole reasoning is because she doesn't want to accidentally send it to the wrong. Yes, place. Elena, which, do not send out your dick pics, <laughs> <laughs> uh, which I respect. Um, uh, next one comes in from Dev. Dev, he wants to oh, know. Oh, Dev, Dev. Oh, Dev, Dev. He wants to know. Never have I ever taken a shit in the woods. No, because every time I've been in the woods, I'm not there. Like for a long i like i don't yeah. camp i don't no. like if i'm ever like in nature or whatever it's just because we went on a hike or something like that and yeah i've never sh had to shit in the woods no never Thank had God. never had to shit definitely mm. obviously had no, to piss i piss outside yeah. most of the time <laughs> even at home yeah just oh go yeah. In the backyard yeah, yep. or the front yep. porch yeah no it's like the side yard if okay. we if we didn't have the cameras that are newly installed in our backyard because of my shotgun incident Oh, yeah. Um, there are cameras in there now. <laughs> That's right. I forgot. If, if we didn't have those, and I'd Didn't probably yeah. piss off the back uh, porch. Yeah. I've never I've never shat uh, outside, but I've definitely... I have outside. I mean, technically, I shit my pants, <laughs> and I was outside then. That's true. So I get, That is true. You know, we've told that story before. We, we have. Oh. I, I mean, I guess, te I guess technically not in the woods, but right. I, I've, yeah. I've, I've accidentally pooped when I thought I had to fart. Okay, there you go. So, uh, but uh, Yes and no on this one. Elena, have you ever taken a shit in the woods? No. Oh. She did make me pull over on the way home one time and because she had a piss. To pee. Yeah. yeah. I've done like that I more had than to... On the side of the highway. Oh, I've done that I so many times. I, I just, hold it. You can't. Sometimes no. Sometimes you can't hold it. <laughs> no, that hurts. Yeah. It doesn't hurt that Sometimes bad. it does. It does. Oh, yeah. no. It I just does. Maybe I've just got stronger willpower maybe, but anyways. Okay. Next one comes in from Charlie Mann. He wants to know, never have I ever... Lied on a job resume or application? I have. <laughs> <laughs> Several of them. Uh, they don't check. Uh, I know. No, they don't. No. So you got to pump yourself up a little bit. Pump up your stats? Yeah. I uh, I don't think I have. No. I don't. I really don't think I have. I never wanted to get a job that where you have to have like some kind of requirement, I don't think. Neither of us. We haven't had very many jobs either. Like, this is we've true. We've both been where we're at for like a long time and we're not old so it's not like oh uh, you're i mean we're get, i'm getting up there I'm J not old. jp's old enough to yeah. be our dad i am and i still have a job that's designed for a teenager <laughs> so you know that's, there's that <laughs> great oh fuck. yeah never had to i mean i she was I've, already qualified had, she like, had already had all the no, stats I've had like yeah, three jobs did. my whole life like i haven't really worked very many places so yeah. uh yeah anyways uh, next one comes in from Frankie Ward. Frankie. He wants to know, never have I ever tried to impress a girl or guy by doing a fancy sports move and failed. I have not. You have not? You were never like bowling and were like, Man. check this shit out, dog. So I did have an ex that came and watched me bowl one time. And he's like, I love watching <laughs> you bowl. He's like, your ass looks so good oh my when you God. bend over at the line. And I was like, you know what? Come watch me bowl anytime. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm just, I've been told that I've got a really nice ass. They're right? wrong. No, I don't have much. But what I've got is 
Oh, okay. Very nice. <laughs> Does it make that sound? It does sometimes. Oh my god, that's <laughs> gross. It does sometimes. Uh, no, I have uh, I have done this multiple times. Absolutely, I have done this multiple times. One hundred percent. Do you hear that phone ringing? No, I, I am just heard it again. My mind. Don't Dude, pay attention to it. No. <laughs> yeah. Something. Well, that's wicked. I don't know. I wonder if you're going to be able to hear it on. Uh, uh-uh, I don't, I don't okay. know. That's okay. Anyway, but uh, it, this episode doesn't matter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> I'm offended. I have I have done this multiple times yeah. on a have. regular occasion. Any yeah, opportunity I that I had, I had to make up with uh, what I don't have in looks. I have to make up in athletic prowess. He's just standing in the front yard on met, his snowboard, but, waving at people. Oh, but wipe then you out! Fail, oh yeah! Right? Oh yeah. totally! Oh, yeah. Absolutely! Sure. Have you ever seen? and play sports of course he failed no she's seen I've you seen play baseball no snowboard, snowboard and baseball i've not seen you play baseball i saw you play dodgeball one time uh, look pretty good in those short shorts um but yeah i haven't really seen you play but just just snowboard just snowboarding okay. and i'm pretty good at that i don't think you failed yeah i've definitely never done this because I knew I wouldn't be impressive. She yeah, has, that's she, smart. <laughs> know I your strengths be, and your weaknesses. I knew it would be embarrassing. Nice. So, like no Scotty, game. <laughs> when he, what, what, like 10 years ago, we were going somewhere and it was cold out and I had to run across the street and he made fun of me for like five for years. You ran. Nice. <laughs> because of for how I ran. Years. So like, I'm definitely not trying to impress wow. people with my athleticism. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> still pretty funny. Yeah, I thanks. just saw it in my head. It's good. She like bounces. And, like when she ran, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? but uh anyways that's uh that's that uh anyways uh next one comes in from christian george he wants to know never have i ever made a homemade sex video i am uh i am scared to hear either of you on this one anybody so here's the thing (laughs) (laughs) Why am I not shocked here? Uh, this is a kind of a long story. We got all the Do time. Do we have time? 100%. Oh, good. Yes. So I met a guy one night out at a club. Uh-huh. Like you do. I wasn't bringing him back to my place. Right. Just because it was a fuck and it was never going anywhere. Mm-hmm. And he was cute, and but he was a mess. And I was like, I'm never getting it so i didn't want to come back to my place he didn't have a place he was just here visiting homeless that's how you no, go after him <laughs> no he was here visiting and he's like he used to live here but he okay. doesn't anymore so he was staying at his parents house we weren't going back there and uh, he was like hey i've got this buddy we can use his place and i was like he's not gonna be doing any you know is he gonna be involved because you need to know those kind of things. If he is, I'd like to see a picture first. <laughs> but he was like, no, 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 he won't. You know, it's a spare room and whatever. I was like, okay, deal. You know, let's go. I was fucking drunk and high and God knows what else at that point. <laughs> so we get over to this dude's house and we. it's a weird, like, apartment. But it's upstairs. It's like a huge flight of stairs. Yeah. But there's only, like, two apart, one in the top and one in the bottom. It's a weird place. Mm. And we walk in, and it's pitch dark, and this dude is just laying on his bed, fucking (laughs) having one out. I mean, just going to town. All right. And I'm like, okay. I was like, well, did not expect that. And he was not attractive. Oh, of course. It was not a nice feeling Mm -mm. when I walked in. And it was real awkward. And... I, so I, instead of just running out, I'm not the kind of guy just to bail on a party. So <laughs> of course not. You know, I will, I waited around for a minute to see, you know, are we going back to the other spare bedroom? You know, let him do what he's going to do. Let's go fuck. And, uh, we, he just kept like putting it off and he was, so anyway, long story short, the computer, the laptop kind of tips over and it was, he was looking at me. Oh, great. Nice. He was looking at one of my profiles on one of my oh nice dating Wait, sites. Wait, this guy's roommate or friend was <laughs> that you didn't. <laughs> oh, I didn't even no. know. Him. Didn't even know him. Good but shit. he was uh, he was on a uh, 
Yeah, it That's was so me. Creepy. Oh god! So he must have told him that he was bringing you over. I assume so. Wow. Maybe. So That's I don't know, crazy. man. Yeah. But no sex Did videos. you get out of there? But then? there was no video. Okay, I mean, thank God. We didn't have time. I don't ever want to have anything. But yeah, like, I left right well, away. Well, I'm sure. But it was creepy. It, How, I hope you were was, like, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not one to leave a party and then yeah. you see yourself on a computer. I was with like, that well, situation. okay, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> gotta stay? go. No, I, I left. That's good. But yeah. Good. I'm glad. So no, it wasn't a video, but it was still. Yeah. Yeah. Was, I mean, there were some pretty hot pictures on there, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> He Jesus. thought so too, apparently. Apparently, uh, so that's nice. That's what he was going to town on himself. Oh yeah, right? it was wow. awesome. So there's that. Thanks for the question, Christian. <laughs> <laughs> Christian will never bring, ask another question. Bring up some bad memories. Yeah, he's there. never going to ask oh, another question. Lord. Uh, yeah, no, no. Here's the other thing. We've been together for so long because uh, we're coming up on what, thirteen years, or twelve. Well, we've 14? been together wow. for 14 years. 14. Wow. We've been married for nine. We've been married for nine. I know that. We've been coming up on 13 years or 12 or uh, 14. 14 or, you know what? 15. Let's fucking call it an even 15. Well, it's well, March of 2010. Uh, that's easy to yeah. remember. Well, and the other Obviously thing. Obviously not. <laughs> Apparently not. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, but <laughs> I'm not good with that. to remember. Right. Uh, but no, we've been together for so long. It's like, uh, like we've when we were starting yeah. to become sexually active was when we started dating. So yeah. it's like, we don't have a whole lot of, uh, you know, experience Plus, in that particular. <laughs> nobody category. wants to see you in a sex video, Scotty. And I was just getting ready to say, I am never putting anything like that out there on yeah. the ethernets and shit. Yeah. Fuck that. I don't even want to watch me do it. So <laughs> no, yeah. and, and no, Atlanta, no, no. <laughs> thank God. Thanks for answering. Well, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't yes. with the previous one, you know? Yeah. Uh, and last one, no. never have I ever, uh, this is uh, from William Morrow. He wants to know, never have I ever said something on the show that got me in trouble with my wife or friend. Look, here's the thing. Uh, I have not. <laughs> and I know you're no? going to say you haven't. Or, I mean, you have said stuff, but I don't think she's heard it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think you should go back and rewatch some of these episodes <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. I don't think I want to. I think you should. And uh, I'll tell you why. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just Are you going to pull the episodes for me? Let me know. I will. In the comment down below. Yeah. Let me know which the, episode I should watch. Here's the greatest thing. Here's the greatest thing Please about out. it. Pick one. Like, I know. All he does is sit down here and talk shit on you. Oh man! Like the whole I do time. Not. Oh, you'll see. You'll uh, see. You'll see. You'll. You should start watching these episodes. No, I, I'm kidding. Your views are going to go up. Yeah, your views. Are <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm just trying to get views. There. No. There was. There no, was, I haven't. Have you? Have I? Yeah. Oh, are you to? Oh, yeah. I well, mean, I wasn't part of that. You were not part Thank of it. Thank God. <laughs> no, you I were mean, not. Well, with a fr with me. Yeah. I mean, I've been upset about some things, but I've not. Yeah. Uh, there's there's one in particular. I'm not going to repeat it because I already got my ass chewed out about it. So I'm never going to repeat it on the show ever again. But Derek, <laughs> Derek yeah. likes to throw it oh, out. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. And, and so it's like, oh, fuck. But I, at least and she didn't ever watch the episode. But I I tell well, her what right, I've right. said. Yeah. Right. Well, you do like when you're done with the episode, you always come up and you're like, I ask how it went. And he's like, yeah, this was funny or that was funny. And yeah, you show me some of the clips and stuff. So, I mean, I yeah, it's not like I'm completely oblivious to what's going on. True. But mm -hmm. there, the, there was. And we're not just talking about her, right? We're talking about just people in general. People that in general. Because yeah. Wasn't there uh, that one there guy? There was a big yeah, one. That yeah, that one. Yeah, that was. But a big I mean, big that one. wasn't. But that wasn't. It wasn't yeah. his wife made or for friend. Yeah. I think they. This yeah. guy means like. Oh, uh, I got you. Like a good friend of yours. That listen, you were, listen to the show, and yeah. and we say something like about them. I've never like, done that. Like my cousin fucker that I work with. No, right. he does not listen to the show. So that's, right. you know, that's fine. And if I pissed him off, I really wouldn't care. Well, that's where I'm at. Like if yeah. you listen to the show and we're friends, which some of my friends do, mm -hmm. and I say something like about you, I meant it. <laughs> and I would say it to your face. <laughs> so... Yeah, I mean, you that's can't. True. I yeah. mean, that's just who I am, dude. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I don't hold back much. Do you no. think any of the other guys have? 
Uh, Derek definitely. I bet Derek has. Derek yeah. has. I can oh, think of a she, couple. Pissed off his does wife. Does she listen to the show? No, and uh, <laughs> for thank God. How did she hear it? Uh, no, and thank God. <laughs> but yeah. well, I can tell you how uh, she because she also follows us on TikTok oh, and social yeah. media. Got, oh, so she just TikTok saw like of, a yeah. yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, so I'll get a text message from Derek and be like, "Hey man, thanks for that TikTok. Now I'm in the fucking doghouse." Well, I'm like, why you're you say welcome. It on the show, Derek. Yeah, that's awesome. But uh, but no, I I know I I've. I've done that, and uh, but I, other than that, no. Just the one time I, I pissed think, off. Yeah, I mean, I don't think anything's super big, though. So Yeah, yeah there, there you go. go. Uh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is never have I ever again uh, be your, uh, or keep keep on the lookout for Monday Funday next week and uh, send them in. There was a shitload of never have I ever's this week, by the way, so um, good job on those. We did not, however, have very many. That's where I draw the line. What the hell? Which is JP's it's my favorite, favorite part segment. of this, uh, the show. Yeah, yeah. I love it. He really? does love it. Uh, but my anyways, we're going to kick it off with, uh, this comes in from Chris Cravens. He wants to know, how much of the sales pitch do you listen to from a door-to-door salesperson? None. Do you even answer the door? If I can. Most times I don't. So I used to yeah. listen to like the whole thing yeah and try to let them down and sometimes ineffectively let them down and then like kind of get wrapped up in it um but scotty really has helped me with that Mm -hmm. there is a sign on our door now people listen to it so i used to too huh i used to like give them the benefit of the doubt and whatever but then i had a kirby guy (laughs) in my house for an hour and a half and he okay. would not fucking take no for an answer. And he was vacuuming my fucking couch. <laughs> and he was, and he would not fucking take no for an answer. And I literally finally had to say, look, man, get the fuck out of my house. Stop I, vacuuming. Stop, stop vacuuming. Cleaning. Stop cleaning. Guess what I have? I got this. Guess what I have upstairs? A Kirby. A Kirby yeah. vacuum. <laughs> they don't take no for an <laughs> no, answer, dude. I really wanted left, one. Scotty was like, that's the only well, sales that's great, door-to-door that I, I actually really, really like. That and like Girl Scouts. Yeah, uh, no, I don't even like those. So are, does this count? Do the Mormons count? Uh, uh, well, yeah. Because uh, you know, I've that t- yeah, they yeah. came knocking on my door in Park City every Sunday. Mm-hmm. And it was annoying as fuck. And it was before noon. And one day I just got up and I fucking took my boxers off and I went and answered the door butt naked. And I go, I'm trying to fuck my boyfriend. What do you want? (laughs) And they both just like got on their little bikes and rode away and we never saw them again. (laughs) Nice. So yeah, it worked. worked. But yeah, that's only one time that I did that. And that, that dude was in my house for an hour and a half and I'll never, I just don't answer the door anymore. That's kind of, we did it one time and the dogs were like pulling the blinds open, the curtains open. They saw you guys And and they're like, and I'm sitting on the couch and I'm like, this is so awkward. Uh, We see you. They'll leave and it'll be fine. (laughs) It was pretty awkward. We know you're in there. (laughs) (laughs) Make eye contact. Don't bother me. Uh, But no, like I, uh, I used to as well. I mean, we both used to listen to the whole spiel. Yeah. And then it was always to get out of it. It was just like, no, dude. I have my my dad or my uncle works at another at a competitor. We're good. And even sometimes that I bet, but like that's they'd be like, the, who, where? Yeah, where, where do What's they work? Name. Or people that do Maybe sell stuff door to door. Ah. They're weird motherfuckers most of the time. I, like, you, you know, have I to almost, be kind of odd. To, I almost got a job selling uh, selling knives door to door. door, to door. I was uh, offered the position and I was like, wait, what am I doing? I, I would never. <laughs> no. So, didn't actually take yeah, it. But good. Thank God. Could have yeah. been me. <laughs> oh, wow. That's uh, awesome. Selling knives. Yeah, That's there you awesome. go. Better watch out. Uh, it next. dices, it slices, it even purees. <laughs> <laughs> what? It purees? You remember that old info uh, infomercial yeah. that they were trying to sell the, I don't even know what kind of knife. The, the Ginsu's. No, man, it was no. like the Miracle Blade. That's oh, yeah, what it the was. Miracle yeah, Blade. Yeah, 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 yeah. The old guy cutting the hammer and shit. Yeah, oh yeah. I tried to buy those motherfuckers. Yeah, that's awesome. uh, next one uh, comes in from Matt Ward, and he wants to know, where do you draw the line? How worn out do you let your boots or shoes get before buying a replacement pair? That's a good question. So here's the thing, man. Yeah, that's a good question. I've got so many shoes. You're gay, I get right. it. Right. Yeah. But I've got a problem. Like, <laughs> dude, I've got a problem. Sure. So I don't ever, they don't ever wear out because I don't ever wear any of them enough. Yeah. Oh. Except for, I guess, so I, I was thinking about this one earlier, this question. Yeah. And I guess I could say it, it works with work shoes, like my work shoes. Yeah. I'll wear those motherfuckers till. Like right now, I wear a pair of Hey Dudes, uh-huh. and they are so worn out, and they're ripped, and every time I step in a puddle, my foot gets wet. Oh, that's my answer. <laughs> I hear it, too. 
Uh, but I don't know what it is. Uh, I think I'm hitting something is what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I'm doing. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'm the same way, dude. I'm the same. Scotty only wears Hey Dudes. I only wear Hey Dudes, and they have a shitty fucking sole at the bottom of them. And they, yeah. And so whenever it's wet, I mean, we're talking on pavement, dude. Dude, I know. Oh, my God. Scotty almost yeah. <laughs> fell down one time. <laughs> Because of his hey dudes, he's like, I can't wear these pairs. They don't yeah. have, like you don't have any tread on. Oh, I don't have any tread. left either. There's yeah. no tread, yeah. and we have tile floors. That yeah. work, oh, and perfect. They get wet I'm surprised and you don't have to wear non-slip shoes. Ah, he's been there for a long time. Do what I want. But but yeah, I will. And and I we have a, a shop obviously oh, right. where it's yeah. that where it's that oh, polished yeah, concrete floor. Already. Oh yeah. fuck, and oil and that stuff like that. Yeah. And she says, he's almost fell one time. Oh, I've almost I mean, in front of me, it was multiple really times. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll wear them until about that point, and then yeah. I will go out and get new ones. Right. I have a hole in the sole of one of my shoes. <laughs> nice. And I should throw them away. I don't know why I still have yeah. them. But they're work shoes, like you yeah. said. I finally had to throw away my last pair of Hey Dudes. Yeah. Just because I, c- I just cannot in good conscience wear them anymore. <laughs> and now this pair is to that point again, and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do. I yeah. don't know. But yeah, I need to just throw. I, buy, I have to throw them away. Sh- otherwise, I, I've got them. I don't even have to buy them. I've okay, got plenty. Then throw them away. Where do I you just? Go? What do you do? I don't know. I don't know. You're, you're just. I can't just can't do go. it. I can't let them go. Oh well. All right. Uh, next one uh, comes in from Jacob Paul Hazen. He wants to know where do you draw the line at one? Uh, sorry. At what point do you trust someone enough to fart around them? I've been married to my wife Never. now for almost ten years. <laughs> And I do not fart around her, or I fart around her. (laughs) Sorry, sorry. I fart. I fart around her, but she still does not fart around me. No, she doesn't sound like she farts. Not really. No. No. I mean, it's just I, but it doesn't take much for me to get comfortable. Me neither. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't take much. I've. If I met you today, and I got a fart, and you're sitting there, yeah. You're gonna hear it, yeah, and not smell really because I'm a gay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's true. the thing about me; I can do it and then just blame it on somebody else. It's a loose balloon uh, knot. Yeah, uh, but no, it doesn't take me very long. I will be more yeah. than happy to let one go. Uh, I'm not a shy person. I'm, and not, I'm not either. Like, I'm, I just don't. I'm not that person to give a shit what you think. Yeah, and uh, and Elena, how about you? Do you ever fart? No, that's See? it. See, there you go. No fart, no poop. That's the best part about that's marriage. Nice. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> she doesn't even have a butthole. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Jesus. Uh, Next one comes in. We got Chase Golden. Uh, Chase Golden. Chase Golden. All right. yeah, he wants to know uh, how many trips to a buffet, or I'm sorry, how many trips through the buffet line is too many? One? One, you fat motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nobody needs to eat all they can eat. Ever. Yeah. yeah, but sometimes I go through and I'll get well, I don't go to buffets anymore, but when I did but you're I not. would I would I would pick out some things and then I'd be like, Well that half of that was gross. I'm gonna go back and yep. get what I actually like. I get that, but So like two, three no. I mean most generally people times. that go to buffets have no business eating they go that and much eat anyway. The whole, and they yeah. just dude, they'll have like how did you even get that much food on your plate? I 100%. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And, and it's I'm, not going anywhere. I don't like my food touching. Uh, oh, yeah. Either. Good call. I'm not good a good, call. I'm not good with that. Good call. So when I go to a buffet, I'm like, well, what the fuck? I've got like three or four things on my plate. And yeah. fucking somebody comes back to my table and just fucking sets down a feast. <laughs> Mountain <laughs> of like, food. Everything's all mixed fuck? together. Yeah, I don't, I can't do it. So my answer is, uh, there's two answers to this question. Yeah. If you go to Golden Corral, period, you're in the wrong fucking place. However, when this is relating to Chinese buffets, yeah. it's a little different. I've done Chinese buffets. I yeah, get that. I, yeah. You you sometimes have to take a couple trips because, yeah. uh, you know. Um, okay. It, so I'll give you Chinese buffets. I, I, but I will say two. You don't see a lot of fat Chinese walking around. You sure don't. <laughs> you sure don't. So, uh, so kudos to them. Yeah. Uh, and last one comes in from Caden Knapp. He wants to know, how long do you wait until you switch from the heat to the AC or vice versa when the weather changes? That This guy right dude. here. Oh. Every day. Oh, yeah. I sometimes. Oh, is it, is it kind of yeah. hot? It, it's ridiculous. I will have Scotty the heat is. and AC going the same day. Yes, like, that's what he yeah. does. Because uh-huh. you got to stay comfortable. No. 100%. Why, why would you wait? Put on a jacket. Put, I don't even wait? pay our bills. 
and I'm over here like Of course you don't. If you had to pay thermostat. bills, there's no way you would stay with him. See? There's <laughs> obviously a reason you're here. I mean, I, I have, to, uh, I have yeah. to make incentives, right. JP. No, I get it. But put on put on a jacket or, you know, no. put on no. some shorts. Why would I do that when Open I can fucking window. turn the AC on? That's exactly right. That's why I have it's it. Just a waste. Oh, no, no. it's not. Yeah. It's it's absolutely it's and she's exactly right. I mean, if the house gets <laughs> below a certain temperature in the middle of the fucking summer, Dude, the I, heat's yeah. going on. And in the winter like right now i have my fireplace on my electric fireplace yeah. mm-hmm. and my fan on full blast <laughs> while i'm sleeping <laughs> because, yeah because i like the you're like i, I want to be cozy because it's winter time but it's yeah. also kind of hot so yeah. i need to have a fan so on. yeah i yeah. mean i do whatever makes me happy 100%. yeah and you're always like scotty wants it to be warm so like in the winter he will set the thermostat to like 72 and i'm like that's hot and he's like, it's no, it's cold no, it's outside. Set, we set and ours then at 72. in the summer, he sets it to like 67, 68, 68, 68 or something. 68, and I'm like, yeah, right in there. that's too cold. Yes, and sir. And then he'll, he'll be like, well, put on some Yeah, pants why don't you just put on a, put on a sweater <laughs> yeah. or t- yeah. put on a jacket? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's exactly right. That's uh, the way I roll. And I'm even super weird because I, uh, I also don't like blankets very much. So when I go to bed at night, I sleep on top of the blanket sometimes <laughs> because yeah. I don't, I mean, I just, uh, yeah. I'm I think if I was rich, I would have blankets everywhere. Oh, okay. Like, I have, I love blankets. I, I would everywhere. be that guy, but since I'm, I'm not, not rich, <laughs> since I'm not, and I live in a room in somebody's sure. upstairs, oh, yeah. uh, I have a whole house to yeah. put blankets up. So yeah, I would, I would They're everywhere. when I had blankets a house, and we pillows. had a bunch of blankets. Yeah. Um, she likes blankets, not necessarily likes uh, throw pillows, so it's okay. I'll okay, ta- there I'll ta- you go. I'll tolerate I have that. some. Tolerate the I have some pillows, not o- not, not not over not overly. So, all right. A- anyways, ladies and oh. gentlemen, that is that's where I draw the line. Now we get to great move segment. On. Yep, that's uh, JP's favorite. Yeah, you gotta love that. It's a magical segment. It is magical. But now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Oh, thank God. And uh, we're gonna oh. kick it off with. Taylor. I thought I was like, are we going to have an episode where Taylor doesn't have a question? Well, and or the, and the other suggestion, thing, I know that would be weird. It would be weird. But the thing is, is that I did get an, a question regarding Taylor, and it was, how many times will you keep on taking Taylor Morosky's suggestions we'll take before them all. before she comes on the show? Oh, you want her to come Wait, on the what, show? What was she doing tonight? Uh, she, in another state. Yeah, well, she couldn't make it. Video call. So <laughs> she just put an iPad up there. After doing podcasting for like six and a half years, um, I will I will tell you that having a, a guest on or a or a fan or a listener on, it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Yeah, I agree. But especially if it's Taylor. I don't know about that, <laughs> but just kidding. Just something to think about uh, for the future. But anyways, uh, speaking of door to door salespersons, uh, she wants to know what is something you would enjoy selling door to door? Not right. knives. My ass. <laughs> oh wow. my God. I mean, that's really the only thing I th- could think of that I would enjoy really? selling door to door. And if I could make a living at it, I would. Oh, I, Unfortunately, I mean, bless you, sir. At my age, it's done. I yeah. mean, I would have to. I would have to have started like thirty years ago. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I. This is tough. This is tough. Yeah, for me I to can't think, think of, of anything. I can't. Bowling balls, maybe. <laughs> yeah, you got a. You like, got a good inventory. I got. I mean, I got like. I was, I'm passionate about that. I could, I could do that. I could never go up to a house and like try to sell something that somebody does not want. No. Uh, so I'm going to go with guns. Okay. Because uh, lots of people like those. There sure. There's I don't think you can sell do those not. door to door. That would be the scariest what are you door to door salesman. Can you do that? If you pull yeah, up. you can fucking do that. Hmm. That would be terrifying if someone How showed up to the front door. That? Do you want to buy this gun? Look at this sweet baby here. You, I can tell you what, I'll cut you a deal right now. I'll get you the pearl handle <laughs> and I'll get you three bullets. Yeah, you can sell guns door to door. You just can't tell the cops about it. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's basically. So that's my answer. How about you? How about you? I feel like you'd scare a lot of people with that. I don't know. The only thing. Knives. (laughs) I said not knives. Yeah. Yeah. Not knives. Um, (laughs) Swords. 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 Nunchucks. Nunchucks? We got some nunchucks up there. Probably nothing, but. um, Yeah. If I had, I mean, I would, I would, I would help. The little girls sell Girl Scout cookies. Hey, that worked. Okay, there you go. Because that's work. the only thing I know people who like. Who people op- do people do like like I'm not yeah. 
Yeah. I hear you. Okay. All right. Uh, next one comes in from uh, Caden Shell. He wants to know names for a midget strip club. Booster seat bitches. Hmm. That's one. Hmm. Uh, and then pint sized puss. I'm oh, pint sized puss. Yeah, go in there, get yourself a foot a foot dance. You know, okay. you got to go in there and uh, yeah. get what you can get. So that's what I'm gonna go. With. I would call it step ladders. Step ladders. <laughs> yeah, because that's what they'd have to use to get up on the stage. Sure would. Elena, anything? <laughs> Elena, you have to answer. Shorty's yeah. getting low. There you Shorty's go. Shorty's getting that'll, low. That'll work. Good job. Like the song. Oh, I know. Like the song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love her so I, much. I know. I, I always talk about you. Whenever we talk about you, I always talk about how much I absolutely adore Aww. you. And I love talking to you and how nice you are. And what the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> Being with Scotty. Like, you could do so much better. Um, I, I know. No. Uh, next one uh, comes in from Cameron Barber. He wants to know what is something you're very stubborn about, but and or, I'm sorry, what is something you're very stubborn about that nobody can change your mind on? This could be very, very controversial. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with bowling again. I'm gonna say that Storm has the best bowling bowling balls and bowling equipment. Oh, ever wow. made. Oh, I was and not thinking you were nobody that could ever nobody could ever change my mind. You know, Brunswick's better, or Hammer's better. No, I'm pretty sure Storm's got the lockdown. Oh my God, your answer is bowling. Yeah, well, no because I didn't want it. About. It's hard to answer those bad say bad things and dirty things when your wife is sitting next she's to me. She's heard it all before. I know she has, but... She's heard it all before. Yeah. Well, what else was your answer going to be before you knew it was going to be on? Yeah, you had that, like, half ass little smirk on your face, which really kind of concerned me. Pussy's evil. <laughs> I truly believe that if you have one, you're fucking evil. You sh- and I think that they're dirty, and they smell. And they've started wars. And, yes, and they look funny. They scare me, <laughs> quite frankly. Wow, uh, I, I I I'm gonna stick by this one, and nobody will ever convince me otherwise. Uh, whenever they started putting um, litter boxes in high school bathrooms, <laughs> yeah, you're not a fucking cat, dog. You're mm. not a fucking cat, and you will never convince me that you actually think that you fucking are. So okay. that's where I'm at, mm-hmm. Elena. I have no idea. <laughs> I like can't I you I didn't so far you're doing this. a great job. <laughs> doing excellent. Doing excellent. Um, uh, yeah. Right. Do I have to answer? No, no you don't. God, that's the beautiful thing <laughs> about this show. That's the best part about it. You don't have to, you do, don't have anything. to do anything. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm No, you're fine. I don't, I'm you're not good. really a stubborn person, so I don't know. Yeah. Right. I kind of just go with the flow. Everything else you can totally convince me with the correct amount of facts. I, I, will, I will then yeah. uh, change my mind. Yes. Yeah. Uh, next uh, one. <laughs> I have several answers for this one. <laughs> <laughs> this one comes in from Motionless KSO. Uh, he wants to know, what's the dumbest way you have ever gotten hurt? One time, <laughs> I was for whatever reason on the hood of my friend's car and he was creeping down the street about 15 miles an hour and we were just bullshitting or whatever. And I went to jump off, but I wanted to be like, yo, see you later. And I planted my feet Mm -hmm. and (laughs) I immediately just fucking poof. Yep. My mom picked gravel out of my back for, like an hour and a half. Yikes. It was bad. Ow. It was really, really bad. That was one time. Yep. 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 Another time. <laughs> what, what was the question? Uh, the, the dumbest, dumbest way, way you've, you've ever, ever gotten ever hurt. hurt. So I was wrestling with a friend. Oh. And wrestling. we were really, yeah, straight guy. And uh, so we were wrestling around and he like kind of fell off the bed, but he had me like in a oh, yeah. weird position and my my rib one rib went over the other rib ow it's still that way today what? oh good because stuff. they couldn't fix they, they would have to, it would be like a pretty major surgery to fix mm-hmm. and the doctor's like as long as it doesn't bother you and you can feel it you can wow. feel right here where it's it's no oh, yeah twisted. No. so wow. that that's another time and we'll just leave it at that okay uh, those I, are yeah those crazy are, i uh i slept weird and <laughs> and I uh, that is the dumbest way to get hurt. I did. I slept weird one time, and I pulled a muscle in like uh, it was almost like a cramp in my foot, 
And so I did something and I couldn't, I didn't walk very, I, I walked funny for like a day and it, it really, really hurt. Uh, but the other thing that I did that was really stupid is whenever me and you first uh, started da- uh, dating before we got married, uh, we lived in the ghetto. And I, in the ghetto, we did, it was. Um, but I decided to go and play basketball oh. at the park. <laughs> yeah. And I sprained the fuck out of my yeah, ankle. Nice. I mean, yeah. that's not a dumb way to yeah, get hurt. I agree. But, oh, they broke my ankles bad. But how you, but yeah. then you were at work and just. On I, a was, I was I was on like a chair with <laughs> wheels, just <laughs> just no, no patches or anything. He was just scooting around. At work. There you I had go. to be at work. Uh, how about you, Elena? Have you done anything like that? Yeah, I hurt my leg standing in a dumpster one time, <laughs> <laughs> as one does. That's where I found yeah. her. That's the first. That's the first time. Yeah. I, I was cleaning whoa, out my whoa, my whoa. family's house, and I was yep. standing on top of something and yeah. like a okay. cabinet, and somebody handed me something heavy, and I fell through the cabinet. Oh, nice, good stuff. Um, you still have the scar for that. I didn't actually, like, it was just really bruised. I don't think, I mean, it just really hurt for, like, a month. But I do have a scar on my hand from playing with a tape measure when I was, like, (laughs) three. And I sliced my hand open, so that was pretty dumb. And now I'm afraid of tape measures. She's scared of tape measures. I sliced my hand open. We were watching the Flintstones. That's how old I am. And they were making an umbrella with, like, a stick and a rock. Uh And so I got a steak knife and a butter lid. And uh, that didn't end well. Oh, so there's yikes. another type. There's a lot. I've got a lot oh, of yeah, these. Probably yeah. Yeah, I've got I have a lot more. of these. Those were probably the dumbest. I'm very thing. dumb. Uh, <laughs> next question. <laughs> next question comes in from Jeff Friedman. He wants to know the rejected sixth Spice Girl, blank spice. Anal spice. Fuck. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with midget spice. Okay. I mean, might as well. Yeah, sure. Elena? I was thinking of like actual spice, <laughs> <laughs> nutmeg spice, cinnamon. cinnamon spice. Oh, pumpkin spice. Oh, oh there you go. I yep. like that. Actually, I, love that that. I, I actually like that one. <laughs> oh God, that would be the I one. I like pumpkin spice. That'd be the one that'd get punched in the face. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> Uh, next one uh, comes in from Derek Hill. He wants to know rejected Hall of Fames. Do they ever reject them? There's Hall of Fames for fucking all kinds of stupid shit. There really are. I don't know if they ever get rejected. I don't know. Midget either. Wrestling Hall of Fame? Surely there is one. There's got to be one. There's got to be one. Oh, 100% there has Bowling to be. Bowling Hall of Fame? Do they have one? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I don't know. Where's it at? St. Louis, Missouri. Of course it is. Uh, I figured it'd be in Wichita, Kansas. Yeah, it's, it's in... <laughs> It's in St. Louis, the shittiest sir. cities to put Hall of Fames in. <laughs> um, I, I, St. Louis is no fucking. I don't picnic. I don't know why I initially thought about this, but um, did you ever watch the South Park? Wherever there was a competition to see who would take the biggest shit. No. Um, Stan's dad won the competition. <laughs> of course he did. Yeah, <laughs> and and so I, for some crazy reason, that's the Hall no. of Fame that I think okay. of is just like, like yeah. giant turds, and it's like the Guinness Book of World there Records kind of thing. Uh, anybody else? No. Okay, that's totally fine. <laughs> Great question, Derek. We should have <laughs> known with a name like Derek. And it's spelled the same way. Yeah. I was going to say. D-U-M-B-A-S-S. <laughs> <laughs> and last question comes in from Brandon Bolins. He wants to know, rejected names for a penile enlargement surgery. Do you, when you just walk in, you go, give me the JP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> This is what I want. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, the erection perfection surgery. Oh, no, I like that. Or dick to dong. That's dick to dong. <laughs> dick to dong. There you go. Uh, anything, honey? No. no. That, that's Are you talking cool. to her? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get confused. Oh, shit. She usually calls me that. Uh huh. Oh. Right. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas. Thank you very much for participating in Monday Fun Day. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, I technically get a win. It's hard to believe. Yeah. I, I Derek got, won. Yeah, Derek won. I took second. Derek's not here. I get the 
I get the W, I guess. I get the loss. Oh. You Imagine get, that. You get, Well, technically, you now get the middle. So oh. you get the sandwich picks. I love that. You do love that. I do love the sandwich uh, picks. I get the championship picks. And because uh, my wife, my wife, my wife is, uh, is a guest on this week's uh, show, she gets the first overall pick of this week's draft. And this week's draft is going to be the absolute worst celebrity baby names. Awesome. Celebrities name their child some fucking or some funky, funky shit, and uh, we get to pick which ones are the worst ones. And Elena, you get the first pick. What do you got? I mean, Elon Musk. Yeah, X. It, it's X X A twelve. Yeah, is how they okay I think, say it. X Ash A twelve sounds good. That's mm. uh. That's, when, that's, I mean, when you when you have to explain how you pronounce it to yeah, like everyone, and then some people have said he pronounces it differently sometimes. Yeah. And like it, that's not a the great other name. kid kind of has the same kind of thing going on where like the A and the E are are together that's as well. That ash yeah. is what, how he says you say that. Yeah. I don't so know. I guess he's really that. he's really obsessed with the the letter X for yeah, some crazy apparently. reason. So yeah. that's what it is. Uh, JP, what is your first overall pick? Blanket. Blanket. Mm, yeah. I think Michael that was Jackson. A no, that was the that is the kid's name. Blanket. Really? Blanket. That is its name. Wow. Yes. That's his name. Wow. Okay. Blanket. Blanket Jackson. Okay. All right. Michael Jackson. Michael kid. Jackson's God kid. God rest his soul. I mean soul. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go with two of my favorite ones. I'm gonna go with Jason Lee and Beth uh Reesegraff's kid. And that is Pilot Inspector Lee. Hmm. Fucking love that. And then the next one I'm going to take is uh, Penn Gillette, who oh, I really you son of love. A bitch. But he named his daughter Moxie Crime Fighter Gillette. Yeah, you I know dick. you like Penn, so I was wondering if you saw that uh, when you were looking at me. Yeah. I've known that I almost years. took that one first. No, absolutely <laughs> really? not. Yeah. Gotta it. love Moxie Crime Fighter Gillette. Uh, JP, what is your second pick? Uh,. Let's go with royalty. Royalty. Chris Brown. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Gotta love it. What a fucking stupid name. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, and then Elena, you get two in a row. Okay. My next would be Malibu Barbie. Malibu Barbie. Whose kid is that? She is a YouTube star. Oh. Tisha Paytas. Oh, I God. don't know, but I I wouldn't name my child that. Well, so. is that her real name? Yeah, that she she was born in 2022. That's ridiculous. So what the fuck are you doing to your ago, kids? I wouldn't do that. <laughs> no. Um, and then, uh, I mean, Nick Cannon has a lot of bad. Names. Yeah, he does. he's got a lot yeah. of kids. Yeah, I, I was I, say. he has a lot of kids. <laughs> Just a shitload of kids. He's running out of names. Some of his names are pretty out there, and I think Zillionaire. Hair oh, wow. is probably that's a good one. Probably a top, yeah. Jeez. not my favorite. So well, I mean, he like I said, he's running out of normal names, so he's got to make crazy ones. Uh, JP, what do you got? I'm gonna go with uh, Diva Thin Muffin. <laughs> Frank Zappa's. <laughs> that was almost yeah. yeah. Diva that's, Thin Muffin. Yes. Yep. Oh yeah. God, it sounds like an SNL skit. Yeah, and then. Rob, what are you doing? Oh, it's not it's me. It's not again. you. I it's I got two. no. I get well, two. Well, no, fuck yourself. I get two in a row because because <laughs> I heard what you were getting ready to start saying, oh, you son and of a I bitch. am gonna take it, and that is gonna be Moon Unit. Damn it. Yeah. Also, siblings, Zappa. Yes. Zappa. Those yeah. are both very interesting. All of, I mean, what's his other kids? That's name? what I, I call my know. dick. <laughs> my <laughs> Moon <laughs> Unit. You Moon <laughs> Unit oh Zappa. God. Oh, fuck. Ooh, That's yeah. good shit. Um, my, I get two in a row. So, uh, good I got for you. Moon Unit Zappa. And then I'm going to take, yeah, I, I'm going to take the one uh, just because it's fucking Cardi B and she's absolutely psycho. I love Cardi B. Culture Kiari Cephas Almanzar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say that a lot. Culture is an interesting. With a K. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Just in case. Yeah you needed you know any kind of questions so i'll do that one uh jp what is your next pick zuma nesta rock that's crazy gwen stefani oh really yeah mm -hmm. dude i used to really like gwen stefani until she married blake shelton now i think she's stupid <laughs> i fucking hate Blake. you're behind Shelton. the times man that dude's a piece yeah 
All right. And now, Elena, you get two in a row. <clears throat> oh, okay. Um, I don't even know this person, but they named their child Audio Science. Oh, oh good. And I, Audio I'm Science. Not sure, but yeah, Shannon to home. Uh, I don't know. Get but they said, anywho. All oh, right. Okay. And then your then last my pick. Other one, my last pick. Wow. Um, I think I'll just go with Rob Morrow named his daughter two T U. Oh, that was one of mine too. Too. Oh. That was one of mine too. God damn it. What? Why are, why are they well not no, you good pick, but like <laughs> why why are these people making children? This is so well, fucking mean. I don't know that this is the case, but I did see a lot of people online when I was like researching, a lot mm-hmm. of people are like they're not they're not naming their kid as a human. They're naming it as like a. What the fuck else are you going to name it for? But it's like a, a to promote things oh, that's to retarded. get more. But I don't know if that's really what these people are doing or they're just like, hey, that's dumb. I'm going to be different. Yeah. Uh, and then JP, you get your last pick, man. This is a toughie, man. Yeah, I know. I got one that I just got Did my I, sights on. I take on. your last pick there. Uh, let's go with your majesty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Jermaine Jackson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Your majesty. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> I keep it in the family with the Jacksons, I guess. Since yeah. I got blanket on there. You've got to do it. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with Jamie Oliver and Juliet Norton's last kid because this is <laughs> fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Petal blossom rainbow Oliver. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Oh God. That is the dumbest name it's ever bad. that's bad some of these did people. you see the sibling i uh, mean no. i would have picked there i think that buddy bear maurice yeah is buddy bear is terrible as well but i'm but that's fine you picked your pick yeah Ale- you well it's done that's the last pick i know i'm just so, saying oh, yeah, out these of are, that family yeah. i don't think petal's yeah. a bad name oh, I, think I think i think crazy. buddy bear is a worse name alabama gypsy that's rose you know rumor willis made the, the list i was looking at yeah i like mm. that name i do too yeah, i love it that's not bad. I'm yeah, not going to say no. I like it. I mean, no, it's I just, like it. I mean, Vito, but no, but I. Uh, hey, yeah. Vito. Yeah. No. <laughs> Vito sounds friends good. Um, did you guys see Hussein Bolt's kids? I'm scared. No. Th- Thunderbolt. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and Olympia. Lightning Bolt. And yeah, Olympia Lightning Bolt. Yeah. There's a football player named uh, the coldest, the coldest to ever uh, do it, but yes. it's not a celebrity. It's not a celebrity. No. So I couldn't pick it because I would have picked that. My friend's Saint last Leo Bolt. Oh yeah, yeah, That's yeah. His other kid. yeah. My friend's last wow. name is Pack, and he always swore that he was going to name his first kid Six. Oh, and I was like, "Don't do don't that, to don't your kid. do that, to or your kid. or Variety Fun." Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "Dude, stop it, man!" Uh, there, but he thankfully, he did. With that last, you see, that's a thing with some of these yeah. last names. It's like you could really, yeah, like Bolt. You could yeah, really go for sure. Pack. Yeah, yeah, you could really, yeah, have fun with it. But so should like, we be having fun with children's names? No, <laughs> David Puck and Br- uh, Betty Rainey. The first part's not too terribly bad. Bogart Che, but his uh, middle one of his middle names is Peyote. Oh, yeah. Bogart Che Peyote Rainey. I like that. I think I'm changing wow. my name to that. Is that what you're going to go yeah, by? Yeah, I think oh, so from okay. here on out. Bronx Monkley. I saw oh, that on man. a yeah. lot of the ones that I was yeah. looking at. Well, you got to love it. But hey, celebrities, thank you for uh, allowing us to draft something that you guys are involved in, and we get to make fun of you for having the absolute dumbest uh, names that you named your, ch- yeah. your children. So Hey, but we don't have any kids, so. That's true. So we can't uh, name them something stupid like, you know, Rain or something like that. But anyways, uh, that is this week's draft. You can go to Facebook.com slash... Uh, you know, laughing on the sidelines or go to Twitter slash X, which is at L O T sidelines and vote for the person that you like the most. That's pretty much what these drafts are coming down to. Right. JP. That it is. That's why JP it never That's wins. That's why I never win. Nobody uh, likes me. Nobody likes him. Real cool. Which really sucks. Cause you know what? You are the most like steadfast and, uh, very dependable like you, person in, Thanks, on Elena. this show. I like you. I appreciate too. that. Thanks uh, Scotty. You oh, you guys know how to make a guy feel good. There you go. Uh, but now we get to move on to my Especially f- Scotty. <laughs> my oh. F- <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's weird. I had a dream the other night. No! Worry about him. <laughs> no! Absolutely not. <laughs> but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation of the week.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation uh, brought to you by, ah, fuck it, brought to you by my wife. My wife. <laughs> my wife. I love her. I do. Aww. I do. Very, very sweet, and it's awesome that you get to be on the show. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> she is number I one hope. prostitute, and I love Kuzak. <laughs> oh <my God>. no. <laughs> no, that's my sister. Uh, yes, uh, yes. But anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this week's uh, Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is... Would you rather have to sell cats door to door or dildos door to door? Oh well, I'll go first on this one. <laughs> I'm a dildo man all the way. Uh, of course, I could sell the shit out of those. <laughs> all pun intended. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. Oh, I'd sell the. Oh man, you can't. I, you can't even give away cats at this point. Yeah, I don't know who would want to do that. I would rather do that though. Oh, whoa. oh, would you? Yeah. I would listen to a dildo salesman for an hour <laughs> before I would even let you get a word out trying to sell me a cat. Uh, I like cats though, so uh, like I would. What's the worst that could happen? Me just hanging out with a cat all day? Yeah, that's pretty that's bad. Good. I no, that's fine. They got claws and shit. And, cats are uh, stupid. And here's yeah, the, you've been a you've been attacked by a cat. I I have. Um, but meow. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I tried to hold it like a baby, and, uh, and they she don't did like not that. like that. She did not like that. Okay. Uh, but the other thing that I think we're all kind of like looking over is like, what one would be more fun? Selling cats yeah. or no. trying to sell a fake dick? Yes. That sounds funny. Yes. I, I'm totally going to do Speaking that. Speaking of which, do you think they found them in my glove box today? <laughs> they're, no. in, they're in my center little... Oh, yeah. Because I that's where I put them when we left last week, and then True. I took my car into the shop that morning, that next morning, and I... I'm not going to lie. I told the technician ahead of time. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, yeah, do yeah, not I open, totally open, open the glove box. Do not thank, open the glove box. Thank you uh, for all of those uh, yeah. awesome, awesome things. Nice. Uh, I can't remember who. Somebody said it on on YouTube and said, you're welcome for your pacifiers. Oh, JP. they did? Yeah. I uh, didn't I see that, but I, that's awesome. But I don't remember who it was. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll oh. get back on there and thank them. And we also figured out the sound in the middle of the, of oh, the yeah. break. Yeah, we're, I'm sitting here banging, and we thought we were ringing a bell, but it was this fucking uh, <laughs> was bobble this head. Oh, it was one of the ones. And it was... Yeah, so that that's what we were fucking we kept, freaking out. We kept thought, hearing it. I thought JP's phone was. Yeah, she kept blaming me over and over, even but though I not. assured her it was not me. He showed me not. the phone, and then he put it face uh, down, and I was like, JP, are you sure? No, no it's not. All right, so. Uh, but I do, uh, <laughs> I I do appreciate Sorry. all of you guys. It's I know, cool. It's I, cool. I know it's I know it's different, but it was really cool to have my wife on the episode. Now you guys know she exists. And now you actually know, and she, she really is pretty, and she's and pretty. She <laughs> is really sweet, and like, she actually likes me, which yeah, is pretty damn so awesome. Fucking weird <laughs> thanks man that's not funny Sorry. but she got it you got to think about it she's put up she's put up with all of us now for over five fucking years doing this Crazy. show mm -hmm. it's pretty awesome thank you very much and You're and welcome. the listeners appreciate it for the most part because all if 12 of them we didn't have you and and me doing the editing and we didn't have these awesome comedians we wouldn't have a show at all so thank you very much and thanks for being on the show i love You're you welcome. Ah, yeah. glad to be your last resort but jp <laughs> ladies and gentlemen uh, Yes. Love Mr. JP for being the most uh, reliable person on the show. If that's anybody it, can no. be, that's I'm on just the, the show, guy that will show up. That's, like, <laughs> no. yeah, JP's great. He shows up. I, <laughs> I mean, for, for, you've only called in on one show, one show, and yeah. it was because of a funeral, which yeah. is completely and yeah. totally understandable. I, mean, I didn't want to do it. I know you didn't. Yeah, but yeah. you would have been here if you could have. I would have, and I appreciate it. Uh, but thank you both very, very much. Appreciate you guys uh, doing the show. Uh, thank you. It means a lot. You're the so. one that goes, does all the editing and all the stuff. So. Oh, you're a great guy, Scott. <laughs> My wife's talking me up. This oh, is pretty cool. Well, yeah, Normally, I get, I get shit all on. The time. No, I mean, I see all the work you put into it, yeah, so I know. Yeah, it's a lot. But it's fun. Like it? I do. I love it. It's fun. You and, love uh, getting shit on. I <laughs> okay. Sometimes. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys very, very much. We sincerely do appreciate all you, you guys do and uh, keep doing what you're doing. The show's growing, which is pretty awesome. Awesome. Um, we uh, It's kind of crazy, uh, but keep sharing our TikToks. Keep liking and, and sending them to other people. That's how this show grows. So thank you guys very, very much. And as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us. We hope your mom sends you a picture of her shitting in the woods. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> If you don't like <laughs> us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Oh, 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 O'Reilly's <laughs> Auto Parts. Until next time, keep laughing, keep laughing assholes. assholes. We'll see you later. Take care.